What's up, y'all? So I'm I'm on this 45-minute drive to West Covina from L.A. Well, it's not much traffic, but uh, I want to talk about black culture for for a minute. We know what's against us, right? We've been oppressed, slavery, Libya. Um, police brutality NFL is going on I cover boxing there's a lot of racism in boxing it gets to a point now where we know better right just as a whole I mean this new generation of young kids with the social media the internet nothing gets by them or, I mean, you, you guys get what I'm saying. I'm over-generalizing. Over-generalizing. But you, you guys get where I'm coming from. In a minute or less, they know what's going on in the world. Between Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. And um, we are in a state where we have to start creating action. And um, I, too, have to hold myself accountable. But... We have to start holding our black and brown brothers and sisters accountable because no longer can we assume ignorance. No longer can we assume we don't have the power. You know, no longer, no longer. Now it's about unification. It's about uh, connecting black dollars, connecting brown dollars, and uh, start pushing the envelope. Start pushing status quo into a corner because the one thing a bully hates, and, and we've seen it in Mike Tyson's career, since this is a boxing channel, a bully hates taking a step back. And um, if we can do a better job at buying black this Christmas, buying brown these holiday season, uh, Kwanzaa, it, 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 it's, it's essential. And we can't escape it, guys. I mean, I mean, just think, the cell phone that I'm using to do this video puts, hands, puts money in the hands of my oppressor to some degree but at the end of the day we have the power now and more important we have the tools Google tears down any wall Donald Trump can build at the Mexico USA border Google is fucking amazing and uh, this, this internet the social media is powerful and I think we need to raise our level of awareness and more importantly, lay, raise our level of personal accountability. And this is a great time to do it. This is a great time to tell our kids, I mean, on a smaller scale, Santa Claus, Santa Claus ain't real, motherfucker. Santa Claus is fake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Start there. Christopher Columbus was a rapist and a thief. You, understand? you guys get what I'm saying? These are small stories, but you, you got always, got, when we have kids and ourselves, we got to, be conscious. Always put water in the well. Always, always put water in the well. And uh, this is a, a, a video that uh, I want to use to get you guys excited about the power that you actually have. You guys understand what I'm saying? You are more powerful than people will lead you on to believe. And uh, uh, I believe this generation... These young kids, these they call millennials, right? These 16 to 22 year olds now, wow, man. I mean, between FaceTime and man, don't you know you can post something and galvanize 10 to 20 people just by posting something? Say I'm gonna be here in two hours, and if, if you have a strong following, and then you get someone else to post it, you get someone. Oh man, this is man. We are oh man, we are in a in a space right now where we can absolutely make a great influence and put we'll call it this oppressor we can put him in a corner so anyways man this is just a word of encouragement Saturday night be careful out there tonight and um, yeah let's do this so anyways man barbershop conversations tell someone for Christmas here's what I want for Christmas I want you guys to tell someone to subscribe to my channel you know because um I think with with my fearlessness, along with other people, I'm not saying other people aren't fearless, but I, I think my fearlessness can move the meter, 
can move the culture forward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I genuinely appreciate you guys. You guys are always special to me. And uh, let's go. Let's do this shit for real this time. I'll holler. Peace, guys.